Hey, it's Brickzar. In this video, we're going to be looking at another rare and unusual set. Well, it's not really unusual, but it's rare. There are currently none for sale on Bricklink. I just checked. But pretty much, I think, most of the elements you might get uh, from other sets. And we're going to show it to you now. And I kind of wish that LEGO still made sets like this, and you'll see why. All right, here it is. It's set 9360. It is road plates and scenery. And it comes with all these trees, and you can make little phone booths and mailboxes. Awesome. And, yeah, one drawback to this set is it's all the road plates that you don't really need multiples of, tons of. It's got curves, <laughs> intersections, and T-sections, and park sections. Not a single straight section. But, just to get the amount of road plates that you get in this set, the whole set has 85 pieces, and it has four curves, one of these little park sections, and then an intersection and a T-section. No, two T-sections and one intersection. So that's one, two, three, four, that's eight road plates. And the retail price back then was, I don't know if this is a markup or not, Somebody got this at CM School Supply for twenty nine fifty, but you'd pay that about that much to get now get these uh, these trees here, uh, the big trees. So let's open it up. All right, let's get this lid off of it. Oh look, so all my stuff is still sealed in the original package. There, there are the trees. So you get a ton of trees there. All the different kinds of trees they made back then. And I think the set first was released in 86, but this is a 90 version because it's got the 9091 catalog. And the, that catalog does show this set in. Hey, why don't we look at the catalog? So that the uh, sticker there said this, what was it? C CM School Supply. So that kind of is a dead giveaway that's either an education or what it used to be called back then, DACTA. So here it is. And you see a lot of Duplo, DACTA sets these were for the younger kids obviously so you're talking school age they had a lot of duplo items available and they're usually on a, a very grand scale i mean look at that train set right there 9153 tons and tons of track and that's the way that's why i like sometimes buying even currently from lego education they'll have big sets I uh, usually wait till they go on clearance because then you can get a better deal because they're, they're, the teacher prices aren't very good. Oh man, I didn't know that thing was that old. Ninety-eight fifty. Okay, this other thing about deck, they will produce a set forever. Like that uh, wall board here, I have this. It's actually two pieces, and then you got these. I don't know if mine's got the rabbit on it or not. Mine might be in a more modern version of it, but you could build your mosaics on it like these kids are doing. And then here's some of the basic sets. And then there's the set we got right here. 9360. Uh, that would be a cool set to have. The minifigure battle packs. <laughs> and then here's one with uh, some small vehicles. Uh, pretty much it. Not much going on in that catalog. Now we'll take out the roads here. What do you think about this old style of road like this? It's got the green line. I guess this is like a bike section here. I don't know what that's for. That's what I'm guessing. I don't really know. Tell me what you think. There's that little, like, it's almost like a section for a park or a bus stop or a gas station. I'll put it up there. Kind of doesn't fit with the rest of the road. Alright, so it doesn't really work like that, so I'll go like that. Make this curve off away from everything. So there we go. Since the whole rest of the set's open, I guess there's no point in keeping this little thing sealed. If I could have sold just that one bag alone on eBay for more than what I paid for the set years ago. But um, there's all the little elements you get. 
mailboxes, telephones, that's what people use for cell phones, mail, white chairs, uh, nothing particularly rare. I don't know about these uh, umbrella pieces. I don't know how rare the yellow telephone is. Why don't I look that up? All right, so that road plate there, it's only in one other set of service station. I think it's 6378. And then the phone is in four sets, but three of them are DATCO. So that makes this uh, pretty much a rare element. The other one was a uh, like a raceway or something. All right, I went ahead and assembled the whole set <laughs> just to show you it all together. Because it's probably the only place you're ever going to see it all in one place, complete. Not that it's super interesting or anything, but anyway, here's Brick Czar over here working on the phone. Um, I do work for the phone company, but I don't usually work on phones. But there's uh, the mailman. Hadn't picked up the mail in a while. You got these weird red flowers everywhere. Got a little, little area there. There's the mailbox. You got a fence, telephone, and got another little park area over here with another telephone and mailbox mailman's got to get over there they're overflowing again with the mail there's those weird red flowers again that and then on the instructions or the box it shows you using these little two by two yellow pieces to kind of hold the plates together if you want to and that's what we did so it's a nice little section this could be good for our vintage area in our lego city which none of you have seen yet because we haven't built it but we're going to all right thanks for watching this video Hope you enjoyed it. Mailman, you got to get back to work. See you in the next one. I'm Brigazar.